Hello, hello, this is Jeff Helvin with Ballon Brands, and today I'm going to show you how to search and manage your contacts in Infusionsoft. So there's quite a few ways to access contacts in the system, so the, usually the first question is, is what we're trying to do with that contact. Uh, if we simply want to see a history and uh, you know get information from that contact, well then the best thing to do really is just go right up to the top right of the screen and type in the contact's name that you're trying to find. Now you can use a name, an email address, a phone number, and uh, any of those fields it'll actually pull up for you. So in this case, I'm going to pull up Tom Smith. If I start to type it in, and you see that it, it populated here automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Tom, and it's going to pull up the results. Now if I just typed in Tom and uh, hit enter and search for that, it would actually pull up all records of Tom. And so you might want to be a little more specific in case you have a large number of people in the database. Now from here, I'm actually able to customize what I see on this screen. So if you find yourself always trying to look for specific information, you're actually able to click on Edit Fields here and choose which fields we're showing when we access this. This is your address, additional information, custom fields that we've set up here. So it's actually a pretty useful tool. Again, very customizable for you, which is one of the best features of Infusionsoft is how custom we can make it for ourselves. But in this case, this works out great. I've got my phone number, I've got the email address, uh, we're not attached to a company, there's a state if, if that's information that you filled out in there, and then what kind of, uh, of a contact they have in the system or, or that they are in the system, how we identify them. Now in this case, I can actually do many things with this contact right here from this screen. So I could click through and get a full screen, which I'll show you that in a moment, or I can simply access some of my quick information here. So if I want to see any notes for Tom, I, I simply click the notes icon and I can see that, and it goes from the bottom up, that it was a new opportunity in the system, uh, that we called Tom, said he was interested in, in, in a three bedroom home under 600K, a real estate example here, and that he was moved into the buyer stage. Uh, now each of these has actually been set up in a campaign but this also allows me to simply add notes manually here too. So called Tom. Tom didn't answer, left him a message. Uh, you can choose what type it is if you like to keep track of that information, whether it's a call or email or appointment. You can also choose and notify another user in the system, uh, which is extremely helpful as well. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and click save and you'll see that it added his record. Very simple and straightforward. The other things I can do is I can add a task for Tom. So here's a task that I have, it's incomplete. If I had a task that's been completed, it'll show there as well. I can see if I have any appointments scheduled with Tom. So in this case, I do. I can actually look at Tom's email history as well. So if I were to have emailed Tom, I'm able to actually see here whether or not he opened it, whether he clicked on that email, or if it still shows that it's unopened or that it bounced. So this information is extremely helpful when, when prospecting or following up with contacts in the system as well. I can see any quotes and orders. If you're running e-commerce, e that'll all show up in here. I can see what tags are applied to Tom, or if I need to apply tags, I can also do that here. So let's say I had two-way contact with Tom, so I want to apply that tag. You're able to see that show up here as well. Uh, we also have internal forms that we're able to create. So again, these are very custom, so they're not default when you have Infusionsoft, but if you're working with Ballon Brands and we've installed campaigns for you, you very likely have some internal forms here. So we can see here that I can simply fill out a form, whatever I have set up, so that we can quickly access information. And when I do this, it populates other fields that are in Tom's record, which we'll see that here in a moment. I can click on campaigns to actually see what campaigns Tom is on, which ones that they, he's recent, what activities, I should say, in uh, campaign history that has already happened for Tom, and I can also see what's upcoming for Tom in the campaigns. So in this case, he's on a, on a notification campaign that pursues myself, in this case, as the agent, to follow up with Tom in case I have not recently. I can click here and see opportunities that are set up for Tom. So Tom is set up as an A buyer again a real estate example in this case that shows me that Tom is someone that I am actively pursuing uh, toward a transaction and then finally we have the scoring activity so I don't have scoring set up again a very custom 
circumstance in Infusionsoft that I can tailor and set up. And so I don't have a, a specific example here because we're not using scoring in, in this particular demo site. But I can actually see what activity that he's recently done. If he opened emails, that can increase his score, which shows up here. Uh, if he has different, different activity, like if, for instance, if he hasn't opened an email in 30 days, it can actually reduce the score. So it would show that as well. So these are the quick functions that you can access your, uh, for each contact that you access. Now, if you actually click on the name Tom Smith, this is going to take you to the full CRM profile of Tom. So you'll see here there's quite a bit of information we can access now. We have uh, additional address fields that we can access. We've got additional information, so assistance names, birthdays, and anniversaries, if this is all information that you collect and want to keep track of. There's a person notes, which is just a general field that's specific to Tom himself or maybe Tom's circumstance not like the notes that we're going to add down here where we are specific to our interaction with Tom. So there's tracking, um, and these fields here are custom. Tracking, contract info, custom fields, these are all custom tabs that we've set up in Infusionsoft. So person notes, additional info, address, and general are all defaults in Infusionsoft, as well as tag, linked contacts, and access privileges. These fields here, these tabs here that we've entered, we actually added those ourselves. So you can add whichever tabs you'd like, and you can also collect just about any information you'd like as well. These were all set up custom in the system after it was launched. So again, if you're working with Balan Brands, you will see some of these already set up for you, uh, but I make the point here that it's all very customizable in what we do. Um, on the screen, we're able to see everything about Tom. I mean, his, all of his contact, general contact information, what his score is, what he's purchased from us in the past if, if we're doing e-commerce, uh, what company he's worth if we have attached to a company, which one he's with, sorry. Uh, person type, so this is also a way we can customize this. Is it a prospect, a customer? What do we call them? Do we call them clients? Are they leads? Uh, these are all customizable as well. We have lead sources, of course, so we can keep track of where Tom is coming from and who in the system owns Tom, you know, who's responsible for Tom's activities. So you'll see that's all in here. We scroll down and we get the same uh, items that we had before in the other view on the previous screen where we can see tasks and appointments, uh, anything that's been completed, any notes that are attached to Tom here that are, that are uh, specific to Tom. Any form submissions, so if Tom has submitted any forms or if we've submitted any internal forms for Tom, we'll see those here, and his recent email activity as well. We can also simply send emails to Tom from here or from down here as well, and we can run a number of other activities on Tom. We can see his scored and recent activities. We can see what follow-up sequences are set up, which campaigns he's on, what opportunities we have open for Tom what orders are in the system, uh, you know, upcoming or orders that have already been placed. We can also see his profile. So if Tom had been visiting our website and we use the Infusionsoft tracker, we're able to actually see that in here as well, what, what browser he's using and so forth. We actually integrate a third party um, a tracking tool typically called Clicky, and so that's one that, that we do. But if you want to see more tools that we use, you can always go to lorystools.com, L-O-R-I-S, T O O L S dot com, and that'll have access to some of the other third party tools that we use here. And then finally, there's also a file box. So you're actually able to upload files. Let's say it's a contract, a signed contract, and you want to keep record of that in here, you can do that as well. So this is the best way, really, to kind of see what all we can do with contacts. Uh, very, like I said, very specifically, it's, it's just as easy to go ahead and type up here and, and type in Tom Smith and access Tom this way so that you see him here and uh, you can go in to see more information from Tom as well. Now if they're not already in the system, let's say I'm looking for a Tom Jones and Tom's not in the system, I can add contacts in a couple pretty easy steps. One, we have this quick contact form where I can simply add uh, Tom Jones, his email address, tom at tomjones.com you mark that you have permission, if you have permission to reach out to Tom, of course we want to mark that if he's someone who's specifically requested that you communicate with him, we go ahead and mark that button so that the campaign emails will go out to him. 
And then we choose, of course, his information. So we go ahead and add that in, and I can hit Save. So now, next time I go up here and click on Tom, I'm going to see that there's a Tom Jones and a Tom Smith. And if I want to access Tom Jones, I can do that that way. If I just type in Tom, again, it's going to pull up both Toms. And guess what? I can actually see all the different and access all the different sections from each of the Toms this way as well. So it's a pretty useful feature here that allows us to, again, really customize what I'm, what I'm doing here and how I'm interacting with the system. The other ways you might access a contact is from a widget on the screen. So I can click on this number two and it's going to pull up those contacts that relate to that. Or when I go to the My Day section, if I access either a task or an opportunity or an appointment, it's also going to pull up details about the contact in each of these cases. So again, lots of easy ways to, to work with the data in the system. Uh, like I said before, it's very custom, so we, we really want to set this up in a way that's going to work well for you. There's lots of documentations on how to add fields, how to add contacts. Uh, we have more videos available, of course, as well. But if you do need our help and uh, would like us to help walk you through and, and set these up for you, we would love to be a part of your building. So we love Infusionsoft, we love helping our customers, and I'd love to hear from you soon. You can email us at team at